Hi, good day to everyone. I am Ms. Cynthia and I'm going to teach you the different computer hardware tools that our computer technician use in repairing and diagnosing computer problems. So, in computer hardware tools, uh, when we say computer, it is an electronic device, right? And when we say a hardware, those are the things that we see in our computer, the tangible objects like the computer, the monitor, the uh, the system unit, the computer mouse, and so on and so forth. So today I'm going to discuss to you the different tools that we use or the technician use in repairing those hardware that I'd say earlier. So when we say tools, that is a materials used for repairing or fixing a problem in a particular hardware. So in computer hardware tools, there are four categories. The first one is the electrostatic discharge tool. The second one is the hand tool. The third one is the cleaning tool. And the fourth one is the diagnostic tool. So those four are the categories of the computer hardware tools. The question is, what are the tools under of those categories? On the first category, which is the electrostatic discharge tool, there are two tools in um, under of it. The first one is the anti-static rest truck, and the second one is the anti-static map. So those two tools under the electrostatic discharge tool are usually used by our computer technician when they are working inside the air-conditioned room. The first one is the anti-static rest truck. It is a kind of protective gear wearing by a computer electrician uh, to prevent the ESC damage to some computer components. While the other one, the anti-static mat, is used by our computer technician to place there the computer hardware or the system unit that they are repairing to prevent the static electricity from building up. So the next category, which is the hand tool, so there's a lot of hand tools in our uh, computer hardware tools. So the first one is we have the different types of screwdriver. The first one is the flathead screwdriver, which is uh, used by the technician in, loosen, in loosening and tightening the slotted screws. When we say slotted screws, it has a, a negative picture on top or on the screws. Uh, the next one is we have the Phillips screwdriver. When we uh, when we say Phillips uh, head screwdriver, uh, it's used for tightening and loosening uh, across head screws, meaning it has a positive screws on top. The third one is a Torx screwdriver. The Torx screwdriver is uh, is used for tightening and loosening a screws that has a star-like depression on top. And the next one is the hex driver. Uh, same functions with the other screwdriver, which is loosening and tightening. But then the difference is, is that uh, the head or the screws of the uh, of this uh, it it has a hexagonal screws. So that is the types of a screwdriver under the hand tools. So aside from the screwdrivers, we also has a needle nose pliers when we say needle nose pliers uh, uh, it is a tool wherein it used by our computer technician in holding a small parts in our uh, computer components so the next one is we have the tweezers the tweezers it has the same functions with the needle nose pliers but then uh, the differences is that uh, the tweezers hold the very small parts in our computer components or it uh, it used for getting or it used for picking uh, small parts in our computer components aside from tweezers we also have a wire cutter a wire cutter is used for stripping and cutting uh, wires in our computer system or in our computer hardware and aside from wire cutter we also have the portatever when we say a portatever from the word itself it's used to retrieve the parts 
uh, wherein the computer technician can able to uh, to reach for it or can able to bring back again the tools na, or the parts na uh, cannot be able to for our hands to fit there. And aside from part of fever, we also have the flashlight. The flashlight is used for uh, lightening the area uh, where we cannot able to see while we are fixing or repairing our computer hardware uh, computer hardware system or the computer system. So those are the different hand tools and the uh, by uh, used by our computer technician when they are repairing. So in the hand tools, aside from the hand tools in the third category, we also have the, uh, the diagnostic tools. So in diagnostic tools from the word itself, it's used for the diagnosing the problem, especially and the electricity. So in the diagnostic tools, there are two tools uh, under it. The first one is the multimeter, wherein the multimeter is used to test the integrity of the circuits and the quality of the electricity coming from the different components of the uh, computer system. And the second one is the loopback adapter. The look back adopter is used by our technician or the computer technician in, uh, in measuring or in testing the uh, functionality of the different computer ports of our computer system. So those two tools are very important for the computer technician in diagnosing if the uh, electricity coming from the, from, to the different computer components are still good and as well as the different ports of our computer system. So, and the last category is the cleaning tool. So, in cleaning tool from the word itself, itself, it's used for cleaning. And there are four tools under of it. The first one is the lint-free cloth. The second one is the compressed air. The third one is the cable ties. And the last one is the part organizer. So the first one, the lean-free cloth, it's used for removing the dust without leaving any scratches in our computer components. So uh, the second one is the, uh, the cable ties. The cable ties, is, uh, it is used to bundle the different cables, the different wires neatly inside or outside of our computer system. And aside from cable ties, we also have the compressed air. The compressed air, uh, it's used to blow away the dust, the different, the different debris in our computer components. And the last one is we have the part organizer. And the part organizer is used for uh, holding the screws, uh, the small, uh, the screws, the fasteners, and the other small parts in our uh, computer components. So those are the tools that our computer technician use when they are repairing or diagnosing the computer uh, problem. So it is very important for us to be aware of the, the functionality of the different computer hardware tools. Because someday we don't know, we will be also experienced to be computer technician or one day our computer unit might got a problem. So we know the tools that we're going to pick to fix that problem. And I do believe that living in a mo in today's generation, a lot of computers and modern technologies might come out. And I do believe that computer hardware tool is one of the important things that we should be aware of and be knowledgeable about that. And I hope that you learned something from the discussion that I have done. Thank you and God bless.